All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I know it's been almost a month. I've been kind of slacking on this whole thing. But we got the new case for the GoPro, so we're going to give this another shot. We're going to do a feature on the shop car, the 240. Uh, shout out to SNR Motoring. We actually got their, you know, viewer ride of the month with this thing, which is kind of cool. And, um, I don't know. Uh, they said they're going to send me, like, a dirty brush or something in their video. It's kind of funny. But, there's the Supra. Kind of walk through, go around the 240, uh, give a few details on it. My boss is actually thinking about selling it. If anyone wants it, you know, you can reach out and I can get you in contact with him. Uh, also, stickers are available. Final are shipped everywhere. Let's uh, build one more. Uh, they're three and a half inches in diameter, but, you know, good sticker. That's the only one we have. So far, we'll get a few more things and, you know, kind of get a store going, I suppose, but one thing at a time. Uh, go over the car real quick. It has Z32 brakes front and rear and a Z32 rear diff uh, of a twin turbo. They're drilled and slotted rotors look real nice. Got um, the Kiki Design XT 006R wheels all the way around. The fronts are wrapped in a BF Goodwrench 275 3518. Your rears are uh, how's a BF Goodwrench? It's a 335 3018. So that's a lot of tire on the back of this car. Um, it is does have a Chevy swap in it. Uh, it's an LS-based Gen 453 all aluminum. And it's got DOD delete, uh, Brian Tooley Stage 3 cam, best I could tell. We did the exhaust up here, it's full custom 2.5. On a set of um, just LS1 shorties that I did. Uh, got the split of the diffuser. There's a backup camera, this is a full carbon fiber. Uh, deck lid, JDM tails, carbon fiber spoiler to match it. Uh, it's got that visor. It doesn't really fit too well, but it was nice. All right, so you're looking at the Rocket Bunny kit. This is a knockoff, but it fits pretty great. Uh, probably getting really, really nice. I like these carbon fiber GT style mirrors. It's actually, he asked me, you know, what you th I thought would look good, and I chose those. Thought they looked really nice. I'm going to go to the interior. It is a S14 front seats. Got some DS18 tweeters here. And I forget what's in the door, but they were pretty nice. The dash is in pretty good shape. We did repair it up here. It's just kind of, you know, cracks filled in and repainted. But it come out looking amazing. Glenn did a great job on it. Pioneer head unit. Uh, and so there's the, you know, S14 seats. Sundown audio. Is that 15 or 18? I can't remember which. And then we got two eights, uh, which we have put carpet on the front side of the box. It looked real nice. Um, this is very, very loud. It sounds awesome. Are your switches there for the radio? And there is nitrous on the car, but it's not like hooked up. It's just kind of there in the engine bay. And that's to arm all the solenoids and everything. Never seen these on another 240. But I thought they looked great. Carbon fiber hood. Of course, the Auto Masters logo is all over it. There's a shot that we work at. Been here for a long time. Carbon fiber hood, headlight, covers. That guy. Alright. So we'll go under here and kind of give you an idea what the motor looks like. Here we go. It says Gen 453. We did do all LS1 accessories on it. Um, needs an overflow tank. Optimal yellow top. You know, this is Camaro power steering pump, alternator. There's no AC. The heat can be hooked up, but it's looped right now and there's no controls inside. This is kind of like a race car or a show car, really. So we're intake. So there's our shorties. I said they've been on there for a while, but they work. All the nitrous stuff, fuel filter. It is automatic. That's going to bum a lot of people out, but it's an automatic turbo 350 transmission. It's got like four 10 gears in the rear, and that three speed, it is not enough. It needs a lot more transmission, but you know, you're not going to want to, you know, you're not going to run this thing up to 100 anyway, so it's really geared uh, pretty much right. The angle's crap on the one-handed. 
you have an idea. These are two half onyx amps. This one for the main sub, and then that one's for all the highs and mids in the car. Custom made plate. Looks really, really nice.